For our first project, we'll be making one of these little candle holders. I like to call it the donut candle holder. And this is great for holding pillar or taper candles. I also love it because it's super easy to create and you can come away with something that's functional and decorative that you can use at the end of your pottery session. So let's get started and gather the materials we'll need for this little project. Grab about a third of the clay from one of your bags. You'll also want some sort of candle. I'm using a taper candle. You can also use a pillar candle or even a tea light candle. The tool that you'll want for this project is your wire tool. And the last two things that you'll need are your sponge and your little dish of water for that sponge. To start, you'll just need the plum size ball of clay and you're going to form it into a ball. And you'll do this by throwing it between your hands. You can hear I'm doing this pretty hard. And that's to also help get some air bubbles out of the clay if there are any in there. If you have air dry clay, it won't really matter as much. Um, air bubbles sometimes in ceramic clay, if you put it in the kiln, will blow up. I haven't had it happen yet though, so don't fear. And then if you choose, you can also roll it on your work surface to form it into even more of a ball. If there are any cracks or little divots, you can just use your finger to smooth them away. All right, so next step is to smush the ball. So I'm just gonna take the palm of my hand and press down on it. And I'm pressing it down until it's about, oops, I'm pressing it down until it's about an inch thick. It can be thicker if you choose. So you could do a bigger amount of clay you could also do it a little bit thinner than the inch that I have. That might be more like an inch and a half. Now grab your candle. So I have my taper candle here and I'm going to just take it and gently press it down in the center of the donut or the disc of clay. So you can see it started to make a hole. You wanna do that gently when you press the candle down just so you make sure you don't break it, especially if it's 100% soy. They can tend to be delicate. The next thing that I'm going to do is roll my disc of clay to make the edges smoother. So I'm just simply taking the disc of clay and rolling it on the work surface. As you can see, it's starting to make it more smooth. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is carve out the hole where the candle will sit with the wire tool. So you can either use the squarish end or triangle end of the wire tool or the round end uh, for projects, but I prefer for this one to use the round one since the you're cutting a circle out. 
So we'll simply take the wire tool and gently start to shave out some of the clay. And you want to make sure that your hole is about 10% to 15% larger than your candle. Um, if you have ceramic clay, you want it to be about more like 15%. If you have air dry clay, about 10%. And that is because clay shrinks as it dries and it shrinks even more in the kiln. And carve down until it's about three quarters of an inch deep. Once you've cut the clay out, you'll take your finger first and gently smooth the edges of the hole in the center of the clay. I'm gonna just take my candle, check out how it is for the width, and it looks pretty good. It sits in there, but it can wiggle around a little bit, which is what I want. And the last thing that I'll do before I wait for this to dry is take my sponge. I'm gonna dip it in my water, wring it out, and then I'm just going to use it to smooth the top of my creation. And also I'm gonna put it inside the hole that I created and smooth inside there. So you'll just wait for your candle holder to dry and then you can paint it with either the paint pigment included in your kit and then seal it with the acrylic sealant. And it will look like this without any speckles. Or if you have ceramic clay and you decide you'd like to have it fired, you can get it fired and it will have a finish more similar to this with speckles on it.